Oh, hello, unknown, unexpected guests. Psych, just wanted to give you guys a room tour of my room to show how much of a Game of Thrones fan I really am. Um, I got my, my boo, Emily, filming this. You wanna say hi, Emily? Hi. Here, I'll turn around and say hi to you, <laughs> unless you don't want that. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so come on in, Emily. We're gonna show uh, the YouTubers what my place looks like. <laughs> okay, let's start with right here, the Game of Thrones clothing section. So as you can see, I got my scarves here, some toques, some shirts. Uh, of course, I'll wear this stuff in the summertime, my hoodie every once in a while. You've seen me wear this before, right, Emily? Yeah, I think so. The Stark? Yeah. Thing? Yeah, the hoodie, I mean. And this, of course, for when it's really hot out. I haven't seen the tank top, though. <laughs> you haven't seen the tank top? Oh, that's new. Mm, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I got that recently. I saw my friend back home in Quebec had one, so I had to get it. Um, of course, it's it's really cold outside right now, so you gotta wear your toque and your scarves these days. Um, now, how I do it is that if I'm if I'm very, if I'm feeling very family friendly, like if I'm okay with my parents, if I'm you know not hating them so much, I'll wear the Stark scarf and toque. Just a <laughs> a word of of uh, advice, I guess, on how I do things. And if I'm feeling more independent, more Fuck rebellious. Your family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll wear the Targaryen toque with the scarf. Now, sometimes I just mix, mix it up a bit, you know. Anyway, let's move on to the next Game of Thrones section of my room. Um, I call this the shrine, because you got my shot glasses here. I haven't opened them yet, but I'll have to use them sometime. I got a mug. I got, no, I think I got a couple months ago, I think, yeah. A beer cup, or a beer glass. I'm going to be making a review of these two beers right here, which are the Game of Thrones official beers, the uh, Iron Throne and the Take the Black Stout, a blonde ale and a dark ale. I'll have to get another glass though so we can use both beers at once, you know, make a review, whatever. I got a nice gift for my sister here last year for my birthday, Fire and Blood Targaryen mug. I also got this poster book, um, I think it was in September. Now the funny thing is it's here it says that the price is $25 for US price. Um, I actually got it for five dollars because it was on sale and I had points at HMV, so yeah, good deal. But I couldn't take all the pictures in the book because I didn't want to ruin it, so I just keep it here with the other stuff, right next to my Targaryen um, Tyrion quotes, the wit and wisdom of Tyrion Lannister. Uh, it was like fifteen dollars. I think I was with you actually when I got this right. Yeah. Out. We went to Indigo and picked one up because couldn't resist. I mean, it's not really much in it, but you know they have cute little quotes from Tyrion Lannister, and we all know how much we love Tyrion, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I got a Daenerys and a Ned Stark. Uh, what are those called? Pop figurines? Yeah, I got a couple of them. I got, I originally, I just wanted the Daenerys one, but you can film me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to focus on the stuff you're talking about. <laughs> I know. Focus both on us. Like, we're both important, okay. right? I'm just kidding. It's okay. Um, no, I was gonna get the Daenerys one originally. Well, on its own, but I ended up getting the Ned Stark as well because as you can see it's 50% off, so I got it for $5. But sadly this, the sword was broken, so I didn't get like a nice one, but whatever, it was cheap, so mm -hmm. why not? And it's Game of Thrones themed. Mm -hmm. Last year I got also a Game of Thrones iPod case for my old iPhone 4, but what happens is that the case was so flimsy and not really the most reliant that my iPhone actually broke when I went home to Quebec. Like the screen was shattered, so I ended up getting a new iPhone 5C. And I don't use this case anymore because it doesn't fit, but you know, if I ever end up finding a nice and it's flimsy. Case, <laughs> well, that too, obviously, bad idea to use this because I had to like get it fixed a bunch of times even before it actually broke in Quebec, so mm -hmm. yeah. If I find a nice one that's like more resilient, I'll totally use that, but until then, screw it. Let's see what else do I have. Oh, um. Yeah, I went to a Game of Thrones exhibit a couple years ago, and I got this DVD when I visited. It was in 2012. It was right before season two aired, or premiered. So, yeah, I still have that. I haven't opened it yet, but I don't need to because I have all the, the episodes on my computer. Mm -hmm. They're not illegal, I swear. They're all bought and paid for on a website. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what else do I have? I have some Game of Thrones trading cards that have all been signed. I'm, ex I'm expecting a few more in the mail right now, so I have, like, OSHA... Um, Finn Jones, what does he play? Left. What's his name? What's his name again? <laughs> oh my god, I'm having He's a blank the gay out. one, right? Yeah, what's his name? Is, is he Re not Renly. Lover? Renly's lover, what's his name though? Loris Terrell, there we go. 
Loris Terrell. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know. I just want them to be able Catelyn to see Stark's them. Catelyn Stark's sister. Whatever, they can tell. Now, there's also this, um, what's his name? Cersei's cousin, Jamie's cousin, what's his name? That also incompetent. Gay one. No, he wasn't gay. This is, he's, uh. Oh, I thought he was like. No, he's the one who slept with Cersei in season one. Whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Same diff. <laughs> Other characters here, Dothraki, uh, one of the handmaidens, I think it was Eerie, um, one of the men's of the Night's Watch, Renly, mm -hmm. of course, Samwell, and of course, Natalie Dormer. I think you guys might like this one the most because, I don't know, she's one of my favorite actresses on this series. I don't like her new hairdo, though. Oh, where she has it shaved off? Yeah. Yeah, that was really weird. I didn't like that either. Whatever, she's still good looking. Mm -hmm. She's still hot, even with half her head shaved off. Yep. Just grow it back. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what else do we have here? Yeah, I got some of the books. I have one out right now that my friend's reading. I think it's the second one, because I have A Storm of Swords, A Feast of Crows, Clash of Kings, yeah, that one's missing. Oh, also, this one, A Dance with Dragons, is my favorite one, because I got this signed by George R. Martin himself. Show us! One second, I will show you the goods, and I will also post the video as proof that I was present when I got it signed. You ready for this? No. Uh, ooh. Ain't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, oh, I got, of course, a couple comics. I have The Hedge Knight, which is one of the um, the comics in A Tale of Dunkin' Egg. Um, that pre That's a prequel to Game of or to Song of Ice and Fire. I have the Polish comic version of the first book called Grautron, which I got in Poland when I was visiting my family a couple years ago. I probably should get the English one, too. And they also have a second... <laughs> comic out too, mm -hmm. but maybe I'll pick it up at some point. Maybe later today. I don't know, we'll see. I have these are these are also notebooks right here. I got the first one I think for my sister for like she got it for pretty cheap, but the second one I got, I think it was yeah, it says you're seventy five percent off. I got it for like two dollars at HMV, so there's only left at the HMV at Young and Dundas in Toronto. Go there because they're dirt dirt cheap, so are they're just notebooks? They're just notebooks, yeah. Take a gander see. I haven't used them yet. Ooh, they have nice little Sigils, mm -hmm. Targaryen, and all that. So yeah, if you want to get one, go now. Ah, uh, what else is there? Okay, I guess that's just for this section. Let's turn to this side right here. So I got this just recently. That's my latest poster in the series, um, with all the house full, well, at least seven of the houses sigils. Um, I have another poster here I got at HMV as well. Ned Stark from season one, of course. Uh, this is my favorite one though, because it has two of my favorite characters. It has you know Daenerys and. Um, Rob Stark. I got that one online from eBay. It's pretty mm -hmm. cheap too. And of course, Targaryen poster. Can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Love it. And I guess zoom out a bit and we can check out the bed. Yeah. So as you can see, I sleep in comfort. I got my nice... Game Even though you don't stroke. actually sleep on it. <laughs> okay, tell Emily, tell tell the people, the YouTube, my YouTube friends, what what uh, what do I do when my friends come over and they want to. He sit on carefully my bed. puts it away. <laughs> I don't want y'all ruining my bed. Okay, you can destroy this, especially this one. Look at this. I mean, you can't have that. One. I was leaning on it and he freaked out. Yeah, don't touch my Game of Thrones stuff. Even though he puts wet towels Rule on it. <laughs> they were behind it. <laughs> and of course, the North remembers. I had a few friends say like, "That looks like." Blood, how can you sleep on that? Da da da. Well, I don't actually sleep on it. I put it over there when I like, on my beanbag when I go He to doesn't bed. actually sleep on any of this yeah. stuff. Well, I don't want to ruin it, right? I mean, <laughs> it's too nice to sleep on. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to look at when I'm, you know, in my room working and I have all this surrounding me. Yes. Um, let's go to this section right here, my okay. computer desk. So, of course, when I do my homework or I do any vlogs, I have to work in style. So I have my mm -hmm. nice Game of Thrones uh, mouse pad. Oh. Which is the wall, as you can tell. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but... No, it's not. Yeah. Well, whatever. It's the I wall. tried to it put says... my tea on it, and he freaked out as well, yeah. so... This was right there. I had to move it. That is unacceptable. <laughs> Naughty. And, of course, my favorite recent addition, it's the direwolves of, um, of the Starks. They're cubs, anyway. You have Ghost here, mm -hmm. um, Grey Wind, and Summer. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to just get Grey Wind originally for a planned cosplay costume this summer but i ended up getting all three because it was like a dollar more expensive to get all three than just get one so yeah i figured why not mm -hmm. and of course whenever i leave and enter my home i always have to bring my keys and my keys nicely have a game of thrones lanyard and a game of thrones stark uh shield mm -hmm. for um i guess the keychain part really so yeah i think that's about it for my room oh of course map of westeros can't go wrong there Daenerys mini poster as well. And last but not least, <laughs> screensaver. Well, wallpaper, my computer. I kind of already featured that when I thought you were talking about it. Oh, did it. you? Okay, well, whatever. You get another view. So 
so like just take a I guess look around a bit, ma'am. So like you want to make a room, okay. a circle of the view, a circular view of the room, so that people can admire my glorious collection of Game of Thrones paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anyways, that's all for now. I guess I'm uh, gonna make another vlog for tomorrow discussing the recent uh, release by George R. R. Martin. The Princess and the Queen, I believe it's called. That short story, 80 pages long, was released in a uh, collection of short stories. Um, i got quite a bit to say about that, so check it out sooner than later. It'll be up soon. Mm. And I think that's it, so hope you like my room. Don't hate too much, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's all, so take care, folks.